I got dressed to go into my bed. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Glow Sis, bringing you guys back another video on this channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are old and you are subscribed, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys my updated skincare routine. Skincare. As we are getting ready to get into the spring weather. Whoa. We are in spring, but Currently, we're going through quarantine here in New York City, so there's not much to do but to maybe go for a walk and uh, grab your essentials and then like uh, protect yourself, making sure that you wash your hands, covering your face, and just staying safe. Stay home if you need to stay home. Stay home, please, because I want to have a summer. I would like to have a summer. I have things to plan. Birthday coming up. Things to do. Yeah, I do. If you guys want to get an idea on what you guys can put in your spring routine, stay tuned. My skincare routine is subject to change, so that means that the products could change at any time. But the products that I'm going to list in this video are products that I enjoy and that I've been testing out for at least a week and that I see that has been helping with my skincare routine. When you guys are building your skincare routine for the upcoming warmer weather, you have to always keep in mind that less is more. That means you have to opt out the heavier products for the lighter products. For those of you who are returning to my channel, you might notice that my background is a little different. All I'm doing is just facing my window. I have my neutral lighting on just so you guys can get the natural glow. My skin type is normal, but she can misbehave at times. Right now, I am I am currently trying to lighten up two dark marks. I will show you guys these dark marks on my face face and near my eyebrow area. I get my occasional pimples before my period. Just because my skin type is normal doesn't mean that I can just leave it the way it is. Like I have to use my skincare products in order to maintain the skin. It's not gonna work, but it's worth it. Oh, somebody, I don't know what that is. Let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with cleansers and exfoliators. I have a couple of cleansers right here that I use two of them on a daily basis and I like to interchange my cleansers depending on my skin's needs. This is the Fresh Soy Facial Cleanser. I've been using this cleanser for a couple of months now and I usually like to test on my products for at least about a week to a month. I like this cleanser a lot because of how gentle it is on the skin and it foams very nice without it being too foamy and it also works great around the eyes. I'm a girl who loves to wear my waterproof mascara. Sometimes I feel like my micellar water, such as the one I will insert over here from Garnier, doesn't take it all out. So when I'm done removing all my eye makeup, I go in with this cleanser and it does take everything out. I'm not going to hold you guys. Fresh is not the cheapest brand that they have out there. For this size, this is about $15, but a little bit goes a long way. This must be like my second or my third. One of these lasts me for at least three months. Another cleanse I have been using is in a form of a bar. It's from a black owned company called Beautiful Skin and More located here in Brooklyn. But they do have a website so I will link it down below. But this is made with turmeric, peppermint, and lavender. I do enjoy this facial soap because it, do, it did help lighten up the marks that I had on my face already within the first two uses of me using it but I'm going to continuously use it just to make sure that I actually like the product. But so far, I like the product. Now for exfoliation. This is my current exfoliator. I like this exfoliator a lot. To me, it's very gentle on the skin. This St. Ives is also affordable. Personally, St. Ives work well for me, so I'm not going to invest my money into another scrub anytime soon unless you guys could show me what other physical scrubs that they have. Then by all means, go ahead comment down below but until then i'm going to stick with this i also do like the fresh skin although i use that at least once in the blue moon if i feel like my skin needs a really deep clean here's a tip based on my experience if you decide to use this i would suggest taking a little bit and using some water to kind of like put it on your face and then scrub your face gently because some people 
are heavy handed and they tend to scrub their face to the point as if they're trying to take off the color off your skin. Do not come for me. I'm telling you because I'm gonna tell it to you like it is right here. I know there's some people who don't really like seeing eyes because of how abrasive it can be or there are some people who just use the exfoliator with an exfoliating brush. I do not understand why you're taking two physical matters and rubbing it both on your face at the same time. This is one of my current exfoliators. I just started using this a couple of days ago, but I had this for a while. And I got this from TJ Maxx for about 14 to 15 dollars for six pieces which is not this is not bad at all because it comes with the case itself so when you want to go traveling you can take this with you and it comes with three brush heads so as of march april i have been kind of using my toners in the daytime and then my toner and essence in the evening or sometimes i'll just go in with the essence by itself depends on what i'm doing if i'm staying home i'll put on one or the other because i feel like i don't need too much on my skin if i'm going outside then i'll put on i'll, I'll put on the whole arsenal but for now since we're in quarantine there's not much for me to do outside so this is like a light skincare routine that i'm going to most likely be transitioning into as we get closer into the warmer weather this is the pixie skin treats rose tonic what i like about this toner is the texture of the toner is very watery and my skin absolutely love it when i tell you that my skin drinks up this toner let's pretend this is the toner and i my skin that's how greedy my skin is oh um yes drink your water you might think it's not gonna work but drinking water helps with your overall health not just for your skin but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys how watery this is this is extremely watery look like I'm gonna just let it drip on my hands just to show you guys. Look, look how far I got already. It's very gentle and it smells just like, it smells just like roses. It's not that fake rose smell. This is the 250 milliliter size. So I had the smaller one and that lasted me for a while. And I had this, I had this size since Christmas because I got this as a gift for one of my family members and we are in April now. And look how much it's up to here. So I can just imagine by the time June comes, it's going to be finished. And that means I'm going to have to re-up on it, but it's worth the price. But another one that I actually like is Innisfree's Dewy Glow Toner with Jeju Cherry Blossom. I don't use this one as often, but if I'm going out or I just want to have like a nice glow to my face, I use this. Toners are supposed to help balance out your skin and it's supposed to help also help clean out everything else that your cleanser left behind. For essence, I only use one so far. Before I started using essence, I didn't really know too much about the essence. This is the A True Real Black Tea True Active Essence. For my first few steps, I like my products to be very thin and watery because I feel like if my products is too heavy, it, it's not comfortable for me. But sometimes the thicker products do help, especially in the nighttime because when we go to sleep, our body repairs itself. We have something called skin cell turnover. It's a disclaimer, this. I'm not an esthetician, this is just based on the knowledge that I know. I've had this essence for about a month now. It's a bit thick in consistency, but it's not thick like a cream. It's more like, if I have to describe a texture, it's not watery, but it's not thick. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a thick, like a thick liquid. I don't know how to describe the texture, but it's slightly thick, but it's not, it, it has a watery like texture too as well. You can, I had this from since Christmas and this is how much I have left in the bottle already. At first I wanted to try the essence from Han Skin from Soko Glam, but then once I saw Charlotte Cho reviewing this on one of her monthly curations, which by the way, you guys should watch if you definitely want to get an idea on what K-Beauty skincare products to try for your skin type. I saw that she was reviewing this and not many people we're talking about it, so I said, okay, let me give this a try. This is not cheap, but I got this on sale for about $37. Shout out to my mom for that gift card, because if it wasn't for that gift card, I wouldn't have had gotten this. And I use this more in the nighttime than in the daytime, because again, as I go to sleep, I like my products to be a little thicker in my face, so that when I wake up, I can get this. Next up, we have masks. Mask I use at least once or twice a week depending on my skin's needs. Now again, because we are in quarantine, I feel like my skin doesn't need masking as much, especially since I'm indoors, but sometimes I still like to treat my face regardless just to keep up with its maintenance. I have 
a lot of wash off masks, but the masks that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I have laying over here are masks that I like the most. I feel like in my face doesn't need any top type of detoxing. I go in with my gel moisturizer, especially after I exfoliate my skin. Because I've done when I wanna I wanna give myself a facial, a skincare facial. And um let's not let's be real, like facials ain't cheap. Maybe one day. But gel mask, I go in with the Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask, which helps refresh and revitalize for healthy looking skin. It has calendula petals in this. I actually got this in a giveaway last year. And the whole collection, actually, when they dropped the whole collection, my favorite product out of all of them was this mask. And this mask is the Rose Face Mask from Fresh, which is infused with rose petals. I'm just gonna hold the cover over here because it's slipping out as you can see. Both of these products are not cheap, but if you don't use them too often, then they do last you a while. If you wanna make the most out of your gel mask or you want a nice refreshing mask, pop this into your fridge for a couple of minutes, take it out, like maybe at least 10, about 10 minutes. Then apply that bad boy to your face and voila a nice cooling facial. If I want my skin to get a deeper clean and exfoliate at the same time, I go in with my Holy Grail, the Innisfree Pore Clearing Mask. I'm aware that they have a new package, but this is the old one. So same formula, just different packaging, but I heard the newer formula is two times stronger than this, hence why it's called the Pore Clearing Times Two. But what I like about this mask a lot in particular, woo, whoa there, like please, so where, where are we going? Is how well it cleans out my face without making my face super dry. And it also exfoliates at the same time because of the volcanic clusters that it has in the mask. Sheet mask, sheet mask. Sheet masks are one of my favorite parts of my skincare routine because it helps me to personally relax. And I feel like after a long day, I put on these in the fridge after I cleanse my face and especially after exfoliating. I just sit back for like maybe five, 10 minutes of just doing nothing because I deserve it. I deserve to do nothing after doing absolutely a lot. Okay, okay. Then this free she mask I like, especially this one and broccoli. This one unfortunately is discontinued but this is an absolute favorite she mask of mine. I'm gonna need for industry. I'm gonna need for you guys to bring this back because this is like my last one. Where I was getting it from before in the city, I don't know if it closed down, but this is like my last one and I'm holding on to it for dear life. But industry she masks are very biodegradable, which means it's very environmentally friendly and it's recycled. Is it recyclable? I'll put more information down below on the website so you guys get more details about it. I like these sheet masks because they're very thin. I don't like sheet masks. I don't like it when they're too thick because I feel like it just it just makes my face feel like like there's just something trapped on my face like this. And I don't like that. So I prefer using sheet masks that are thinner in texture. And this free has different levels of hydration in their basic sheet mask: water type, essence type, and then cream type. I prefer the water and the essence type, more of the warmer weather is when I'm staying indoors and I prefer the cream type when I do not feel like putting too much on my skin. And I like to put these in the fridge, especially since my room, my room could get a little hot at times, so it does help to cool me down. And especially when I'm coming from the gym. The gym is closed. But you know, after, you know when you, get a, when you have a good workout and then after you come home, you take a nice shower, you just pop one of these on your face and call it a day. Ugh. Another one I like, I like the Medi Hill She Mask. I like this one in particular because of the hyaluronic acid in it. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not really a huge fan of using hyaluronic acid only because I feel like it doesn't do too much for my skin type, but those with oily skin types or even with dry skin can benefit from it because of its hydrating purposes. Like I have this one from The Ordinary, but as you can see, I didn't use too much of it because I just felt like my, my skin didn't really need it, so. It's just sitting there, but that that could that could change anytime. This is the only form of hyaluronic acid that I would probably use. Serums, serums, serums. There are a lot of different serums out there on this market, and most of them ain't cheap. They're not. I had a couple of serums that I've used, and the ones I'm gonna show in this video 
on my top three current favorite serums. I have Buffet from The Ordinary, which is one of my favorite serums, but it ran out. It's a little bit small, but I'm gonna repurchase it probably whenever I can, but I don't really need it right now because I have a lot more serums that I wanna test out. But it's a spoiler alert. The Buffet is one of my favorite serums, but I do not have it on display because it's in my empties, which will be for another video. And you guys gotta stay tuned and watch my empties. Like my heart right now. One of the serums that I like is the Industry Intensive Hydrating Serum with green tea. Out of everything in the entire industry company, the green tea line is my favorite line. For anybody with any skin type, including normal skin types, we could benefit from this. Green tea itself has a lot of antioxidants that helps with hydration, I believe inflammation, and all this serum also helps you to get achieve that healthy looking glow. It's a bit thick, but it's not uncomfortable thick this one that i have is the jumbo size compared to this one this is the this is the regular size and this is the jumbo size and what i like about this in particular besides the fragrance to how well it absorbs into my skin another serum that i like is the miel organics pomegranate and honey revitalizing face serum this serum is supposed to help with your skin's elasticity the only thing that I can say about this that I don't like is the size, but there's gonna be a separate review on this particular serum, so stay tuned for that. Another serum that I like is the Industry Moisturizing Serum with Olive. This is perfect for dry and dehydrated skin types. What I like about this serum in particular is how moisturizing it is. When I first got it, I was just like, Moisturizing serum, like what the hell, am I, what am I gonna do with the moisturizing serum? This is the old package. This is a new one. This is also for another review, so you have to stay tuned for that as well. And then finally, we get into my one of my other favorite parts of the skincare routine, and it's the moisturizers. I have a specific moisturizer for the daytime, and I have one for the night. But again, because we are in quarantine now, I don't really need to use this, but as they open back outside, everything that I listed in this video is what I'm going to incorporate into my routine. This is Industry Dewy Glow Jelly Cream with the Jeju Cherry Blossom. Pink is not my favorite color, but this will probably be the only thing that I accept from Industry that's in pink. The whole line is great. You guys saw the toner already. I'm gonna show you guys the emotion. This is also another product that I think is great for oily skin types because of how light and hydrating it is. But that's not what we're talking about. I started incorporating to my skincare transition because of its texture. It feels like jelly, but it's not sticky. It absorbs into my skin very, very good. And it leaves a nice dewy glow. So again, like for all those who want that glow, if you want a nice glow in your skincare routine, try this. I also have Believe the True Cream Aqua Balm. This is a balm that I use interchangeably in between the day and the night. So again, it just, it depends on if I feel lazy or if I feel like doing a full routine. We have another holy grail. This is a holy grail of mine for two whole years now. This is the holiday package as well. This is the holiday size and this is the actual size for the cream. There's a 50 milliliter difference. But this one you get more for your buck because of the size compared to this, which is about, I think it's about $24 for this now compared to this. I paid $36 for this, but I had this for a while and it's still full. And I use this one at nighttime because it's very hydrating. And again, as I'll keep repeating myself, skin cell turnover. Now we cannot forget about a good old eye cream. I have these eye creams in particular. This one from Snowberry, which is what I currently use in my night routine. I use this for both the daytime and the nighttime, so it doesn't really make a difference, but I interchange my eye creams depending on what I just feel like using. Then the Innisfree Green Tea Eye Cream from the same Green Tea Collection. Then the Amborian Ginseng Eye Cream. And then we have the Belief Moisturizing Balm. Eye cream ain't cheap. Out of all these eye creams, I like, I'm so indecisive, so I like them all, so. And we have the sleeping mask collection. I use these interchangeably at least once or twice a week. This one is good for brightening and the other two that I'm holding are good for hydration. 
these came in a set of minis that I bought from Sephora because I wanted to try this brand for the longest. And they opened back outside. Cannot complete a skincare routine without SPF. Yes, even black people need SPF. I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, black people do not need SPF. Yes, you do, because anybody is prone to getting skin cancer. I've been using these SPFs on my face particularly for a while now. I had these two for the longest. I just got this one. I like it so far, but let's see what happens when they open back outside. But this one is from Thank You Farmer. This is the Sun Water Cream. This is an affordable SPF for your face, which is about, I paid like $10 for this. And then the Kula. This was given to me from my sister. I like the scent of this. Affordable, reasonable, a little bit pricey. It's about $32 for this size, but none of these leave a white cast on your face. So that's a very good thing because I do not want to be looking like this when I'm going outside. It's going to get hot. All the sweat that's going to come down your face. Mm. Cleansing balm. This is the very first step in your skincare routine. Or if you choose to not use a cleansing balm, you can wash your face with a gentle cleanser at least twice. That should be able to do the job as equally. What may work for me may not work for you or what may work for you wouldn't work for me. And I did read up on this. I'm just going to unbox this for you guys very quickly. For those of you who don't know, this is the holiday package. And I'm surprised that they still have it. This is vanilla code we are talking about here. This is the package. I do not like the color pink, but this has a pretty good formula. So that's the only reason why I bought it. I feel like most of the products that I like always come in pink. It's like the universe is telling me something. Pink, pink, pink. pink. No, no, no. Oh, and before I forget, Say hello to my little baby. This is also part of my skincare routine. I use this at least maybe once a week or once in a blue moon, again, depending on my skin's needs. I bought this one in particular from Amazon in this color because again, facials ain't cheap. And this one came with a extraction set, but I'll post a link down below for this steamer. This facial steamer is my little baby. And that is all for my skincare routine. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is your host, Glow Sis. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell so that you guys can get notifications when I post up new content. I post up beauty. I post up some, I'll probably post up some lifestyle. And uh, mainly skincare. And uh, since I'm a silly person, it could be a little bit of comedy too. But who knows? Who knows what's going to be in this channel? Glow Sis. Out. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.